etiquette is something we have to re-structure uh, or reintroduce to people. There is an angle of etiquette in all aspects of our lives. At work, at home, business, social, school, play. Etiquette as it relates to family, friends, and foe. There's just no getting around it. Etiquette is in every aspect of our lives. I'm Sabrina Samuels and welcome to my show. Modern Day Etiquette. Hello, I'm Sabrina Samuels, owner of Beckman Etiquette. And on this edition, we'll still talk about self-esteem, but we'll talk about self-esteem as it relates to worry. How many of you are worry warts out there? You worry about everything. You worry about how you're gonna pay your bills. You worry about what people think about you. You worry about your job. You worry about your children. You worry about yourself. You worry about your health. Worry, 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 worry. I know. Well, you're not by yourself. We all worry. And worry is something that will give you cancer. Worry is something that will bring you down. Worry is something that will make you lose what you're worried about. That which I have feared has come upon me. Worry. Stop it. I'm not saying that a healthy amount of worry on some things are not important, but not when it is obsession, not when we allow worry to just take over and we can't get anything done. Not only do we worry ourselves, but now we're worrying everyone around us. It's just not cool. And people, I guarantee you, they don't want to see you coming when they know all you're going to talk about is your problems. Nobody wants to hear that we all have our own problems. So the bottom line is stop so much worrying. When you worry, you put something into the subconscious mind that will not allow you to get to the next level. What I'd like for you to do is take a piece of paper. When you take that piece of paper, I want you to fold it down the middle, okay? Open that piece of paper up. And I want you to write all the things that you're worried about on one side. Then you flip it over, and on the other side, I want you to write all the things that you're thankful for. All the things that you've been blessed with. Because you see, what we don't do is we don't focus enough on our blessings, and I'm guilty of that too. But we have to be well balanced. Now, when you start writing down all the things you're worried about, all of a sudden, you bring to your mind, to your subconscious mind, you're putting it at the attention mode. You're not putting it at the worry mode. It's at the attention mode now, which is a good thing because now you are aware of what's bringing you down, why you can't have fun, why you can't smile, why you're drinking too much, why you can't get out of bed, why you're just miserable on the job, why you're going down on your job, why you're having personality problems, why you're having relationship problems. Worry will kill you it will kill you. So when you start putting those things down that worry you, flip it over and put those things that you're thankful for on the other side and write at the top, things that I am thankful for. And let's talk about it. I don't know what your, your attributes are, but I'll tell you about mine. Good health, strength, prosperity. When I say prosperity, I mean the little things. You have food on the table. You have clothes on your back. You have a roof over your head. You have friends that you can call up if you need to talk. You have family members who love you. You have a church you can go to. There's so many blessings that are right there in front of you that you need to, and it's raining and storming out there, ladies and gentlemen, so if you hear that lightning, that's what's happening. It is really coming down. And I'm thankful that I'm in here and I'm not out there in the rain. So many wonderful, wonderful things. You're able to pay your bills most of the time or all of the time. You're able to take care of business. You're able to walk or get around. You're able to eat 
your food. Do you know how many people can't even swallow? Oh my goodness. We don't think about that because we get so caught up in the picture of materialistic things. And we're all guilty of that. I know I am too. But then I have to stop and count my blessings. Count them one by one. And I thank our Heavenly Father for the many, many, many blessings that He is giving me. And that's what we must do on a daily basis. Good etiquette is when we stop all the worrying. And you know what else? Worrying will give you a heart attack. Worry will increase your cholesterol. It just will do so many terrible things to you. It will ruin a relationship because all that's on your mind is worry, worry, worry. I had a friend once and I would see her name on the caller ID and I wouldn't pick up the phone when she called because I knew what it was going to be all about, her problems. And I wanted to just scream and say, girl, don't you know I got problems too? Don't you know I'm trying to figure it out too? I just want to scream. But of course you can't do that. I don't want to hurt her feelings, so I just don't pick up the phone. And then she'll text me or email me. And that was a better form of communication because you can give the one-liners and you're done. Girl, I'm busy. Yes, I'm caught up with, uh, you know, taking care of business. And you know, that's kind of cheesy, but I thought I'd tell you the truth. When people talk to me, I want to give them some good news, some positive news. And that's what I want to hear from them. Because when we pump each other up, that gives us energy. And leave all the jealousy and insecurity out of it. Because nobody can prosper when you're jealous or insecure. We all can fall into that category too sometimes. Let it go. Let it go. Be happy for people. And I mean be sincerely happy. Because when you're happy for others, good things come to you. Remember love? What love got to do with it? Everything. But love is not to be mistreated. It's not to be abused. It's not to be neglected. It's not to be taken advantage of. Love is the most powerful gift that we have on the planet. And with love, we can get through just about any and everything. Love and prayer. Every morning when I get up, I'm always saying what I'm thankful for. Even sometimes when I get up and I know a lot of pressure is facing me, I get up and stay on the high end of the stick, the high end of the road, the high end of life, the high end on the high end, not the low end. I don't get up moping and going crazy. Did you hear that lightning? Woo, I think that lightning agreed with me too. So let's stay positive. Let's stay in love and in divine order. Let's remember divine order. When we're troubled, ladies and gentlemen, Let's remember divine order, divine order. I say it, oh, I chant it all the time while I'm going to a client, going to pay, uh, uh, well, not pay bills, I pay bills online, but paying some of my uh, clients a visit or paying bills online or talking to someone, divine order in my mind at all times. It's so important. And divine order brings about divine order because the universe works with us. And if we ask for divine order, it has to come, if you're sincere. So remember to think positive, to love, to be thankful and grateful, and to wish others well. So important in these times, it's always been important, but especially in these times, ladies and gentlemen. And let me introduce to you, some wonderful AV items I have, audiovisual, a wonderful DVD on etiquette and protocol, how to dine at home, how to give a dinner party, how to dine out at a five-star restaurant, some great tips that you can use. I guarantee this will be very helpful. If you could pick up one good thing off of this DVD, it was worth the little 20 buck investment. Also, a CD, expect the best and get it. How to program your mind for positivity. How to program your mind to receive the best. Also, your success diary workbook, which I still use. And I wrote this little workbook 25 years ago. And I still use it today. And it has been very helpful to me. So 
So I hope that you will visit my website at BeckmanEtiquette.com. And remember, I can come to you and do a workshop or seminar. Just give me a call or give me an email, send me an email rather, and I will definitely be there for you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and sign out because it's lightning and raining, and I wish you could see outside. It is storming. I'm going to shut these lights down, and I'm going to say goodbye more. Until next time, I'm Sabrina Samuels. Thank you, and blessings to you. Bye now. Modern Day Etiquette.